now on with the second run in the Brace Championship. The drizzle is easing up a bit as Gwillem Jones takes his stand. Well, 141 points to beat, but a capable combination here. You know, he's a wily old campaigner, is Gwillem, and those dogs are good. And Glenn goes, Glenn away on the left. Giving him time to take the longer distance to get to the top. As I've said before, ideally both dogs get there at the top of the field and make a stop together. And there's Queen going up the right hand side. Now they're going great. 20 for Glynn, full points for Glynn. And Queen to me is going to get full points as well. She's going. She's going to the right place. She's just behind the tree. Oh yes, yes, there she is. And they've arrived in the right place. That's 28 of 20 for Queen. Both perfect outruns. And there's nothing wrong with this lift, is there? Look how nicely they're sort of drifting down that hillside. Oh yes, perfect. 28 of 20. A great start. Four points right away through. Bit of a lame shoot there. Nicely coming down there. Oh yes, I like this. Sheep bunched, both dogs going. Glenn on the left, Queen on the right. Into the gate. That's the fetch gate. Want the sheep right through there. Obstacles are there just to test the point that you can get sheep where you want to put them. And you can get your dogs to put them in the right place. And that's a nice, easy pace, but probably you'd like a bit more push on that. You just stop. But look, there's nothing wrong with this. They're coming into this darkness gently and sweetly. Both dogs walking on, both dogs doing the share of the work. Queen on the right, you just move slightly over. Just got to be careful that you don't cross there, but and they move back. They did actually cross, but with something and nothing. And now we've got a, a nice steady pace. And there's very, very little loss so far in my book. Started to sunshine again, and that's sunshine driving just gliding along. Just watch the turn. Could be a bit tighter possibly. But what we've can't have lost so many points so far. Twenty nine, only one gone. At the halfway stage the Welshman's four points ahead of Thomas Longton. And going ground film. Both dogs are going ground. mountainside and away those dogs are working just think of the value of those dogs up on that hill top that's where we need them that's where they show the value just a bit dodgy there move up Glenn move up Glenn oh he's come too fast a fault there must be a fault there he's slipping a bit his lead's just slipping a bit Phil there just a bit too too wide what two three points there Settle it down again. Settle it down. No panic. Cross drive. Right through the gate. Queen on the left. Queen turns them. And she goes. Turns them to fetch them into the shedding ring. Queen far side, win this side. Oh yes, both nicely moving along. Moving Daddy. nicely along. It's bending out to give a little bit more room for the sheep. Yeah. What? And this is it. This lovely arrow formation yeah. with the sheep at the point and the two dogs behind, and everything is going, sweetly going along. That is what brace work is all about. And he comes into the shedding ring, and he must be feeling very pleased with himself. Queen.
queen. Astonished, looking a bit apprehensive. 25 scored, 5 drop, 25 out of 30 driving. Well, you're quite right, Eric. Uh, Gwillem's lead has slipped a bit. In fact, with a running total of 114, he and Thomas Longton are now equal. <laughs> Hello. Uh, don't forget Hello. that Willem lost an hour, but this is all right. I was going to say Willem lost nine in his semi-final at Shedding, but this is shaping up all right. He's got them apart very nicely. Everything's all right here. This one. That's right. Push them up. Glint to push them up, and the Queen will go down to the first pen and do the work. There she goes. Queen goes round to pick the five sheep up. And Alan, what's she done? She switched round. Go back, lass, go back. Oh, she's seen more than Willem's seen, hasn't she? She's seen that sheep breaking away. Stop it, lass. Stop it, stop it. For heaven's sake, stop it. <laughs> the sheep's almost impossible to stop when it, it, it really has made its mind up, though, isn't it? Well, it is, it, it is really, Phil. You, you, the dog really needs to, to just a gentle grip, you know, just to catch hold of it to stop it. It's, it's, it needs a lot of doing. One sheep needs some turning back, and now, of course, we've got to start again, and we're losing points. What was, what appeared to be a grand shed is broken down and we've got to start again. But see how, it's how quick Queen was to notice that sheep, even before Gwillem saw it. But we've got another shed here. This seems nice. Yes, yes. Glyn comes through. Takes him away. Takes him away, yes. And that's it, of course. That's disastrous. Only two scored out of ten for shedding. Well, that terrible rumpus in the shedding ring, it's uh, put Gwillem Jones eight points behind, I'm afraid, Eric. Down to the bottom pen. Queen does this pen. Couple of grand dogs, you know, there she's got that in nice, hasn't she? Come on, lass. Come on, she wants more action, I think, doesn't she? <laughs> That's it. Lift her, of course. <laughs> Rest there, old girl, you've done your job, but... Ten out of ten. Yes, good pen. And a couple of grand dogs, you know, really. The 1978 International Brace Champions. There's Glyn. Glyn moving up. Completely in control of those five sheep. No way they're going to break away. Second pen coming up. Straight for the... Opening in the Handler takes one side, of course, the dog takes the other. Rope on the gate. Oh, yes, that's a good one. Yes, I like that. I like that. That must be four points. That's ten out of ten for Glenn. Good pen, 136 scored, a grand finish, but the damage done in the ring. Well done, Glenn. So Thomas Longton repeats his father's success in the programme of 1976 and takes the Brace Championship for 1980. Well, congratulations, Thomas. It was really another copybook run. We thoroughly enjoyed watching it, and uh, you scooped the championship, and you, you really well deserved it. Did you get any, any problems, really, in the run? Well, out of sight, down in the, in the bottom there, the uh, dogs, I think, they crossed a little, but I put them right straight away, and it wasn't too bad, I hope. No, it wasn't at all obvious, no, and they did a very, very good run apart from that. Very, very bad luck, Willem. Very bad luck. You were, in fact, equal up to the point when you shed. We, we were watching that, and it was absolutely rotten luck. Anything could have been done about it in being wise after the event? Yes, could be, but uh, you see, that's competition. It's the luck of the draw, and if your luck is with you, you'll go, but if, you, if it's not, you got to stay behind. Well, it were two lovely runs to watch, and it was very, very bad luck, but it really, it almost gave us heart attacks. <laughs>